Hi, my name is Abigail Olek and I'm the founder of Bow Bronze and Spray Tanner to the Stars and now I'm going to share with you my top tanning tips. Hi, so now I'm going to talk to you about maintaining your tan and our lovely Lizzie Kundi is with us. Hello Lizzie. Hello my lovely Abby, how are you? I'm very well, very happy that you're here today. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I can see that you've got the most gorgeous colour on your skin already. Well that's thanks to you Abby at Bow Bronze because I do think this is the most natural looking tan. I mean last night I was at this wonderful celebrity event and everyone was asking where I'd be on holiday which is great because it just looks so natural. Well thank you. Now I'm going to teach you today how to maintain that tan. Right. So basically what's on your skin at the moment is about 9, 9.5 nine to 10% DHA and DHA that is your self tanning agent. So basically what we want to do is we want to learn how to maintain that tan and keep it really strong really golden and really bright. Now the way to do that is by using a 1% DHA product. Now what this product has is organic aloe vera, coconut oil and sunflower oil. So I'm going to show you how to apply the product. So basically every single day you'd want to be applying your tan maintainer that's 1% DHA and what that's going to do is it's going to keep this gorgeous golden colour really bright really golden and really maintained. Now it's really important that when you have any sort of tan on your skin, be it um, a spray tan or if it's from a retail product that you've used at home, that you use a tan extender every day to maintain it. That's because DHA will start to come off with your natural skin cells. But if you're using a product that's got 1% colour, organic aloe vera, sunflower oil and coconut oil, it's basically going to keep that skin super hydrated and super maintained. Now I'm just going to show you on myself, because you've got a little bracelet there, of how to apply it onto your hand. Yeah. So basically we're going to apply the product, if you was at home, yeah. onto your arm and you rub in the 1% colour, this is going to keep that tan really maintained. Then when you're applying it over your wrist, you drop down your wrist, you pull the residue down, then you make like a little claw with your fingers there, and you pull the residue over your fingers. And what that does is instead of having those white lines, which is a telltale sign of fake tan, in your knuckles, it's going to have that perfectly tan fade away look all over your hands. What a good tip! I didn't ever know that. I know. So no one will know you've actually got fake tan on. And exactly, and that's going to maintain it, it's going to keep your tan really strong and the same process can be applied on your legs. So when you're applying the tan on your legs, you just bring it to about two inches before your foot and then bring the residue onto the top of your foot and round the ankle. And that's the way to keep this super golden tan that you've got, which oh, is absolutely you. lovely. And I've got to say, Abby, it smells good too. It does, doesn't oh, it? Oh, what a beautiful smell. Because sometimes fruity. fake tans do smell a bit odd. Oh, that is lovely. Lovely. Wow. Very soft, thank you. You're welcome, Abby. thank Great. you very much.